Hi everyone, I'm Ariel, and today we're going to be looking at Moonshine's Box Bunny, Joy Toy Fear 3. I don't know what any of those words mean, but if a uh, optimal girl that he did is anything to go by, I still have no idea what any of those words mean. And for YouTube's sake, we're just going to believe that. Yep. We're just going to jump right in, see where this goes, and uh, find out what the hell Joy Toy Fear is. The only thing I can think of is Joy Toy has something to do with cyberpunk. Because that's where I heard the word Joy Toy, and I'm not going to clarify anything further, because that is not something YouTube would appreciate. We're, we're, we're just going to leave it at that. All the same, you guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. When you're done, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started. Why is she wearing a bunny suit? Be like, why not wear a bunny suit? Drunk, I mean, drunk yeah, unboxing. sure. Go bunny suit. Boozy box. Boozy bunny box. Boozy bunny box. So that's, uh, that's Pastry okay, Fiend, and they're bribing her oh, with oh. juice. We're in the same color family. Oh, We've got a nose here. Heavy power type? Firepower. Ooh. Okay, oh, that is a huge toy model okay. figure. Okay. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. She has finally admitted it was her all along. Mm. All right. So what we have here is a fear three heavy fire power type robot looking ass man. You know, I got to give moonshine props here. It, I, at first, it is a little creepy that he has a realistic figure of his girlfriend, uh, Alou yeah, Pastry Fiend, who plays Alouette. It's a bit weird, but god damn, the movements are so realistic. I didn't even realize it was a doll at first. Sorry, figurine, miniature, take your pick. But damn, it's super realistic. It's still a little creepy, but honestly, with the level of conversion I've seen out of him, completely believable. And I'm gonna let's do a little preview of the go around. Seriously, that is a massive box. We got like literally things. that's bigger than my we wife's torso. Fully hand painted. My wife is a very small person, though, so Nine. doesn't say much. Legion. Nine. What is this from? What? Okay, fear. But what is fear Bad. three? It's got him in different poses. I don't know what this is. I mean, why is he pregnant in that bottom right one? Yeah, it's got him in different poses. <laughs> now. I'm gonna open this bad boy. Let's see what's inside. So is it like just model and? Oof! He's a big boy. He's a big foam? masterpiece. Ooh! Why does it look bigger with just the foam blocks there? I struggle, but I'm Wait, here. Why okay. are there four of them? I think All there's right. a middle section. Ta-da! They just fall out. Hold up! Hold up! I'm a fool! I'm a fool! Let's save the. Ta -da! Oh, it's upside down. What? Da -da, da -da. Wait, is it? Ooh, he comes with a little instruction manual for his. You have to assemble it. Parts. Uh, Wait, are those actual the, cloth pieces? Okay, one. Well, see if I can get a more clear shot. Yeah, it. That's about as clear as it's going to get. Holy crap, those are actually just tied on armor pieces, aren't they? Like, it, those look like cloth too, so... Huh. Are they literally tying armor onto a mobile frame? That is definitely not something I ever considered in a model construction. That. Definitely you unique. Drink, you're just gonna have to... <laughs> Look at these bad boys. It looks naked. These oh, bad God. boys come in two separate packages. I guess there would be customization here. here. Is that a gun on the side? The full robot itself. Yeah. And it seems like this side, all of the accessories. Let's take them out. Let's and there was someone that, oh no, that is. was the top, yeah. How you doing? So it is the full robot. Oh, she can't get it out. Is it tied in there? We're really in there. Maybe one leg at a time. Ooh. Is it supposed to do that? Oh, damn. That is a lot of detail. It looks so naked. I guess it's like high conversion level. Can he stand? Oh, yeah, because she moved the foot. The test is really, can this man stand or not? Does he need help? 
Or can he do it on his own? He, he Are those Velcro it. attached? I got this. I got this. Sometimes when you hear a snap, you never know if it's a good one or a bad one. Okay, so it wasn't just me it thinking is. that, right? Okay. Um, let's see how his arms move. Seems like it's definitely got some clicky joints going on. I can never let my wife see this video. Not because of the model, which honestly is really cool. You can see almost like it's Velcro attached pieces, which... God, the level of customization in this thing seems amazing. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if this stuff comes off, but... My wife is obsessed with, like, sparkle nail art like this. If she sees this... She's going to take it as a challenge. Yeah. I should probably pretend I didn't make this video. Probably safer that way. Let's see if he has a full range. Seriously, like, these pieces are going to be covered, and they're completely built oh, up yeah. and colored. And All right, we have a... God damn, the detail on this blaster. is obscene. What it is looks that? Like a blaster. You know, anything that looks kind of like a gun. It I looks like a super blaster. soaker. Especially if it's really, really it's fucking fat. Look like that giant red section. Pretty much. It really does look like a super soaker. Shoulder or a height. paintball gun. The real test is. I mean, like a cool barrel, but it looks like a paintball gun. Right. Wait, is it actually strong enough to hold that up? Sweating a little bit. This is the moment of truth. And clutch. Yes, he can hold his gun. Are the joints actually that durable? But he's gonna need he's gonna need some help. Oh, the hand moves. Oh. Like the from the top down, the red part's the bottom. Well. Oh, it straps the on. Those were the straps are for. This red part. Now I. I'm gonna be honest. All the straps are cool, but at the same time, they would bug the hell out of me. No, this is gonna have that much movement in the head. Just waiting for it to come off. It seems that these fabric parts are removable. There are Velcro attachments. You guys saw it here first. Pastry Fiend. Checking out the robot crotch. Truly, she is playing Alouette in real life. There are Velcro attachments. Um, I did see that he has a friend in the back. Oh, there's like little guns on the top of there. Or are they mounting? Don't know how to get his friend out of the back. Does it we come got... out? A red, a red thingy. Oh, I think we saw one of the pictures that was just uh, velcroed oh, on. Like a refill, like a, a what do you call those things? Extra mag. An extra mag. It has another mag, so he's he's loaded. He's ready to go for the second. That looks like a flamethrower tank. What do we got? But we bigger. have. This would probably make more sense if I knew what fear was. I, I don't... I don't know what these are. But we have two of them. Do they go on the hands or something? We have two. What he are comes they? with all this other additive extra pieces that you can attach to. Like, are they additional head pieces? Or is that a shoulder like piece? Shoulder pieces? Oh, it is. I'm just going to let it hang. I wonder why they put it separately. Here. Like, just so you can customize it yourself? Show battle something, damage? Something that looks like this. That looks about right. It looks like you actually have to There's tie more. everything in. Look at all of these pieces. He is actually so loaded with stuff. It's a little bit surprising. I guess it gives you options this looks then? looks like a leg armor piece. Just the way that it just is kind of I guess of you can build it up without the armor too. I wonder if the... I, I wouldn't be surprised if the top armor there comes off too. You could put this on his leg. The, the fact you have to tie it all in though, that would bug me so much. He puts on each side of his limbs. My favorite part... Are these bags? What? Like, I love bags. And he has so many bags. Out of self preservation, I'm not going to make any comments about this because my wife might find out, and I, I know better than that. I'm going to keep telling myself so I don't say anything. And they're so cute. Oh my gosh, you know what the real test is? Can we open his bag? They open? Does it have a zipper? Ready for the moment of truth. It's got... Is that a tiny functioning zipper? <laughs> oh shit, it's a tiny functioning zipper. Yo! Containing foam. Foam. He has foam in there. I was about to You can actually like, do stuff uh, with that. He's got some white stuff in here and it's foam. 
And it's foam. But you know, she thought it was cocaine amazing, for a second. Oh god! When you open a small bag stickers, and you get a little uh, white stuff. That is super cute. I just. How many like, bags have you opened? I'm not going to finish that sentence. So I could put like, I could put some stick in there. That's a, yeah, you're no, probably I good. Definitely put chapstick in this one though. See if this one opens. Also, I just want to go back a second. Just like see how empty the robot looks, and then you come down here and see just how chonky some of this armor pieces. I'm assuming this is for his gut armor. Sure, let's go with that. I really wish I knew what fear was. Or just fear three? I it sounds like a video game. I don't know. I, I'm actually bugging myself about that one. Just it's such a weird. I know I've commented on this, I, but it's just it's weird. Everything is roped in, velcroed in. It's, I've never seen anything like this. Are there other models out there that you literally have to tie together? Because I'm used to like the Gundam way of, you know, everything kind of clicks together really well and it's press fit and it actually works. Or the more model based way where you have to, you really um, get used to working with glue and then swearing when you fuck it up. Maybe that's just me. Or even just like things that are printed on, they're already just really cool, but like tying together. That's such a unique way to do it. it, it it's less permanent. You don't need to worry about that. And there's a lot of pieces built in here. So they probably spend even longer building it to function like this than I can imagine. But it's just, it just, I'm not sure how I feel about this method of constructing a model. Like literally having to tie it together. I mean, sure, you could probably super glue stuff because, I mean, you could super glue anything if you want to, even if you shouldn't. But it's just so unique. That's a, yo, I could definitely put chapstick in this one though. See if this one opens. Ooh. Was it supposed yes. to do that? It does open. It has more. Look at all foam. the foam. Definitely keep it there for keeping it puffy looking like he's got stuff. You got a couple ounces. Ah. So what I'm thinking this Oops. does is he has these other areas that are. I wonder what is the most paused part of this video. And I'm thinking. I have no idea. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe you're thinking it too. Bam. Does it actually stick? Oh, shit! That's actually really convenient then. Hello. Huh. That's pretty. Actually, I like that. I'm actually kind of impressed. You got. I thought it'd be like shit, and she's just putting everything on. Oh god. Ah, yes, the part I was fearing. What the hell is this? Where does that even go? Is it a cod piece? I don't know what that is. More little pockets. Do you think I can stick it to his crotch? I can. Yo! Yo, he got a crotch pocket! Do you think I could have... Visual proof, everyone, that Alouette, Pastry Fiend, take your pick, is playing with a robot's cod piece. Has two crotch pockets? You think he has room? I mean, he has room. You packing two of them. Two crash pockets. Uh, last but not <laughs> that was really exciting. There's last just so many packs. Like the thing is, it actually looks really cool, and I actually do kind of like this. Of so I think they do open. Just loading it up with bags you for know, storage. The best thing about this robot is that all of his pockets they open. And you can all of them? Stick it on oh, so none of them are just visible it. only. They're all you functional. Can stick it on where he got the Velcro space. And I'm gonna be honest, oh that God. actually looks pretty cool, He's built up like that. Ass. Now that it's more buffed he out, it really does look neat. Yo, dump truck ass. Bam. Oh, it actually look stuck. At that. Ninety degree angle. <laughs> it actually out there. stuck. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can. <gasps> Called it. Yeah. Oh, it actually I... bends back. I didn't even know. Actually looks cooler like that. With more Velcro. Is there a pilot case? I just wanted to see what his, his chest looks like. It's it's just metally in there. It's not exciting. I wonder if it comes off further. Anywhere else? Is there um is there like a secret? I'm just waiting for her to break Ooh. this thing. I know you come on. Was that what is your secret? Is it supposed to do that? I get the guy. There's a guy in there, right? I know there's a guy in there. And just I waiting for something to break and so curve. Like, oh no! Oh, it's not just... Is she gonna get a knife? <laughs> She's bringing out a reference. Okay, okay, okay. Um. 
<gasps> Called it. It does open though. There's no coming. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Moonshine can fix that. For now. So hard for nothing. They actually I have a pilot like, case though. Hell, they even have the seat. Prize in the cereal box. And then all that cereal for fucking nothing. For no little man. <laughs> I'm actually surprised there isn't one. Might be hidden in the foam somewhere. At least he has a lot of pockets. I've seen better. Books. Called it. Something finally broke. You need to stop doing that. You don't disrespect me like that on camera. <laughs> 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 I got this, I swear. See, this is why I don't handle nice things. Again. I will snap shit off like that. Snap shit. I cannot speak today. Snap, with? that's the word. That is a lot of pieces. This is a lot of stuff. And that was the most plot heavy video we've ever seen related to the Shrapnelverse. And I gotta say, hot damn, it looks so well animated. I almost thought that was a real person for a bit. But everyone knows weebs don't actually get girlfriends. That would never happen. The funny part is I'm pretty sure there's someone out there who literally believes that actually was stop motion. Sure. Sure. Why not? Overall, that was a really cool model, but it's just, I don't know how to feel about that. It's, it's cool. It's complex. It's interactive. It has secret compartments, which is things I love, but also you have to literally tie the armor pieces on. I, I don't know how I would feel about that, but I have a feeling considering how well made it was, how well designed it was, how freaking well drawn and colorized and textured every single piece was, that thing is probably so far on my budget, it's not even worth looking up. Do I know how much it's worth? No. Do I think if I found out, I would probably lose a year of my life going, oh, that is a lot of zeros. Yeah, that's most likely going to happen. I'm also very cheap, so it's a very low bar, but it still counts. Overall, if you haven't already, there's a video link below. Hit it up because I'm sure someone out there is going to be the degenerate who just like, oh, hey, I need to double check to make sure everything's good on these images. Um, Yep, pausing for quality control here. Yep. Also making sure my wife never sees this because I'm sure this is one of those videos where I'll be like, okay. <laughs> All right, Arier. <laughs> Bend over. Yeah, I should probably make these jokes. My wife is not in the other room. I just realized she actually is in the other room. That's not a joke, and I'm in trouble. Lovely. <laughs> oh, if you guys hear any loud screaming before I cut the video, um, she found out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'm going to go um, find the nearest place to get my wife flowers to apologize. <laughs> uh, pretty guarded. If you're watching, the flowers you got are completely unrelated to this, and it was just a nice gesture on my part. Th that, that is all. Uh, nothing else. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.